think the number one success to me isn't about how many stores you have or how much money you make in each store. Because I know a lot of people who have really big businesses who are miserable as, f yeah. and to me, success is what you just said, know what you want to do and then execute on that. And like you said, if you want to make a hundred pizzas a day and that's what makes you happy and you're done, do that. Like who is, who is anybody else to tell you that you should No, you have to make 200 pizzas because people around you want them. Why? Right. I mean, my biggest point that I've been talking with my circle and you know, what's the difference between me three years ago and me now is, you know, three years ago, I'm chasing creating the perfect pizza. Right. Yep. I mean, everybody's trying to create the perfect pizza. And what do you think the perfect pizza is, Bruce? I, I, I don't know if there is a perfect pizza. I think that there's pizza. I don't think there is a perfect pizza. I think you can always improve, no matter who I talk to about anybody who makes pizza and, you know, the best of the best. When you think of who, who you think of as the right. best pizza maker, they always say that there's never they're never really satisfied with it. You can always improve on it. So I don't think there is a perfect pizza. Well, there's just so many factors, right? I mean... The dough has to be right. The oven temperature has to be right. Right. Uh, you know, you have to have balance on that pie. You know, sometimes you're not putting the same amount of cheese or the same amount of sauce in every pie when you got 40 tickets up. Right. And that's just the the pizza aspect. What about the mood I'm in? The mood, <laughs> right. my, the mood, the mood my staff is in. The mood that the customer is in. What kind of music is playing? I mean, there's just so many factors in creating the perfect pizza that it becomes nearly impossible, right? I mean, you will have that moment where you're like, damn, that was it. Right. <laughs> but it rarely happens. So, you know, my mindset now is creating the perfect life, not the perfect pizza. I need to go into work and feel good every day and feel good about what I, I love making pizza. So why make it to the point where I don't like it? Yeah. I agree. I, I've been trying to advocate that a lot more on the podcast about being happy and doing what you actually like to do. Because I was that guy who, when I first started my pizza journey uh, as an operator, it was trying to build a system so we could have multiple places. And I realized that it was like, no, it was never a point where I was satisfied or happy, right? We got one store really, really busy. We had sales goals. We hit them. I thought that would make me happy. It didn't. We opened another store. It was successful. It was pretty busy. I thought that would make me happy. It didn't. And I realized that what I was chasing wasn't that making me happy. And I realized that doing this podcast that it's all relative. Happiness to everybody is different. And you have to do what's what you want to do and what makes you happy every day going to work because we're on this planet for such a short period of time. You don't want to be miserable the whole time you are waking up going to work because you spend a ton of a ton of time there. Right. I mean, uh, an example of that is like this past Saturday was my nephew's birthday. And, you know, I'm grateful that they had the party at my pizza place and that, but I'm still on the other side of the counter. Right. There. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that becomes kind of, you know, that puts you in a bummer mood. You're like, I wish I was over there. Yeah. So, but, you know, we did talk and said, hey, can you have the birthday party at the pizzeria? Because I'd love to see you guys and, you know, be somewhat part of it where in the past I might have missed that. Right. So, I mean, it's about finding that balance for sure. And, yeah. you know, that, that, that's been a big thing, you know, ever since after COVID is kind of readjusting and making sure that you take care of yourself first. And then, you know, everything else will fall in line if you're doing the right thing. Yeah, 